Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. Y'all, I feel so good today. As I'm filming, today is the first day of virtual schooling. And I can honestly say my first day of virtual schooling was a success, okay? I was scrolling through my Facebook, y'all, and I seen so many of my parents struggling. Mine is not even over yet. Um, my son, my oldest son has one more period and it is athletic. So we're almost to the home stretch. I made a funny post on my Facebook saying that all my parents need to um, get them a Stella Rosa, glass of Stella Rosa and breathe and everything was gonna be okay. So I do wanna give a shout out to a new subby T. Cole and Jeans Nails. Today's video, we're going to try this again. And I told y'all we were going to try it again. But here we are. We're going to try it again. We're going to try this crayon case makeup tutorial again. If y'all haven't seen the first one, I will link that one as well. And that one didn't go quite as planned. Y'all, I haven't arched my eyebrows in a long time. So I'm going to quickly like clean them up a little bit. Okay, so since the brows are done, we're going to use my Black Radiance Buttermilk that they sent over to me. This is a daily butter bead moisturizer. And we're going to put a little bit of this on. So with the realness, you guys, Look at here. This is what we got going on. I'm not putting no hair on today. So you guys are going to see my bonnet on my head. And if you guys would like to purchase a bonnet, then go to amvlavish.com and get you a silk bonnet. Yes, it does have my face and logo on it. I am going to test out this Neutrogena Matte Primer and Serum. This is the Shine Control with rice protein in it. Um, the last primer I used in this video, well, the other video, I think the primer didn't work well with the foundation. So we're going to try this one out. While that's air drying real quick. I am going to go ahead and put on my ABH clear brow gel and I'm going to go ahead and pop that on my brows while my face is drying so that we could go ahead and do and if you guys haven't tried this brow gel one thing I can say is this stuff holds your brows into place place. While this is drying, I'm going to tell y'all we're going to try the Arches and Halos by Tanya Crooks. This is the Luxury Brow Building Pomade, and this one is in, I want to say Espresso. Yes, Espresso. Never used. This is a part of my Shop My Stash. Um, I haven't used it yet. Brand new product. I've been having it for a good minute now. I'm going to use this Crayon Case number 202 brush. Now, I can tell you the other two crayon case um, eyeshadow brushes that I used in the last video. Y'all, I already put that in my drawer for products I don't like. Sorry, I don't even know what I was saying. I was too busy talking to my kids. But um, the last two brushes, I'm gonna make like some type of video about products that I just don't like, whether it's project pan items, new items, or something that was just in my collection. I'm gonna be piling them up within over time and then we're gonna do some type of video and me explaining why I don't like that product. And hopefully with whatever product it is, I could add in clips of from when I previously used it, if you get what I mean, so that that probably could help you guys out when it comes down to purchasing items. So. I am going to test out the Zero Two Angle Brush and see, hopefully it's good, 
hopefully it is good. And we do have some new subscribers here. If you guys see me looking that way, that's because the monitor is over here. So I don't want you guys thinking like, what, what is she really looking at? The monitor is over here. The brow, the angled brow is okay, but I can honestly say that I'm too much not liking the pomade. It has more of a cool tone. And if you know me, I'm kind of a dark brow girl. I don't like cool tones. So this is like kind of bugging me a little bit. I think for anyone that doesn't mind this color shade would really like this because it's very creamy and it goes on without a problem. If you guys like this, I did find this pomade at Target. So I am gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape and Tan Deep Sand. I am gonna use this this is a makeup brush, but I don't know how to pronounce that name, but I can tell you I got it from Amazon. Um, I did get it off Amazon, and if you guys would like, y'all could check out my Amazon storefront. I do get a little commission off of it. It is an affiliate link, so if y'all don't mind helping me get that extra coin, I would appreciate it. But if not, do not hit that link because it will give me a couple of cents. So I am going to take this brush and clean up my brows real quick. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. I don't do anything different to my brows. I make it an arch. If my arch is not deep enough, I will, you know, make it an arch. But I don't do anything different. Hopefully they meet up at the end. <laughs> That's just basically what I do. And then I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics 129 brush and blend this out. So on the back of my hand, I had a little bit of tan sand still left. So I took my NARS Radiant, no, my, my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in New Ghana. And I mixed it together and I'm just going to conceal the top of my brows with it. And I fan it out just like that. And then I go in with that same blender brush. Take what's left and kind of fan it into that brow to fade it a little bit. So far... Even though I don't like the color of the brow pomade, it's looking pretty decent. It kind of looks darker now that I done cleaned it up and stuff, but I mean, it's looking a little bit better. So I'm going to take my MAC Mineral Mineralized Skin Finish in Zork. She looks like that. And I'm going to take my Best Top brush once again on Amazon, my favorite brushes from Amazon down below in the hot box under Amazon storefront. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna powder my brows so that that could stay right in place. So we are gonna dip off into the matte book again, into the matte book. And we're gonna start off with this yellow. I don't think the matte book had names. Yeah, no. Matte book don't have names, so we're going to go right here with this one. And we are going to use, I need my color switch. If you guys don't own one of these, you guys need to get one. Mine is from Sephora. This is the color switch. And it just looks like a Brillo pad like this. And you take your brushes and you swirl it around. And it basically gets off your color that you previously used. So that you could go back in with the same brush and use a different color. So this is the Morphe M513 brush. And I'm going to go in with this yellow. And we're going to place that right here. I didn't put too much of a eyeshadow base this time. 
I just want to see what these colors do on their own, really. And it may be a big mistake, but we want to see. So I am going to go into this brown right here. Oops. This brown right here, same brush. I didn't clean the brush off. I want to place this in. Gonna dip off into this brown here. Sorry that they don't have names. Yeah, don't have names. And we're just gonna keep it right here in that crease. Same brush. Moving on to this darker brown here. It's more of a reddish darker brown. I want to get that right there and blend it. You want to place it down first and then start blending. All right, you guys. So I am going to take this color right here. And this is another thing I want to show you guys that you can make a full complete look with one brush. The less brushes, the better, in my opinion. We're going to take this and we're going to pat it all over our lid. And I can honestly say so far, these colors are not like the best. They're not as pigmented as they should be without base but it at least shows up a little bit i like to pat first and then blend we're basically done with the eye part so far i do have a little bit of fallout um we're gonna move on to the foundation now gonna use the NARS all day luminous you guys know that this is a project pan and I'm trying to use it up using my crayon case sponge and I almost want to say that this shade is probably becoming no good because it seems like the coloring has changed so you guys tell me if you see a color difference so last time I did try this crayon case highlighter. I do have the shade 15. You guys, I really don't really like it. It's a tad bit orange. So what I'm going to do today is I'm still going to use it, but I'm going to mix it. I feel like I should have got a lighter shade. I should have. I should have got a lighter shade, but like I told you guys, it's hard to find your shade when you're messing with online. Put a little bit of it underneath my eyes, but I'm mixing that Tarte Shape Tape. This is a project pan as well. I'm trying to finish it up, but at the same time, I love my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm not trying to put a lot because you know, Tarte Shape Tape is a full coverage as well. And this foundation that I'm using today is not really full coverage material. So I don't want to go like real heavy. Make sure you use a damp beauty sponge. You don't want to touch your eyebrow, but you want to get as close as possible to marry the two. Now, one thing I can say about this Tarte Shape Tape, you do have to kind of work quick. She does dry down really fast. Can you guys see good? Hopefully you can see good. I'm going to take what's left of this brush and lightly blend. Okay, you guys, I didn't like this neither. I feel like it was a little too orange, so I'm not gonna use it. I am, however, gonna use my Huda Beauty Cornifer Powder instead. If you don't like powders with scent, you will not like the Huda Beauty because it has a heavy scent, but it's not heavy like where you just cannot stand it 
but I am now going to use my is this I'm gonna use my dark deep from Mac oops from Mac and I think I'm gonna use my big Morphe brush. This one is the Morphe E54 brush. So I'm gonna take it and press it into my skin. I kind of like a more flatter brush, more of a kabuki brush like this than the powder brush when placing down the all over powder because it sticks more where you want it to versus being an airbrush. I want to put black in my waterline. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible Longwear. I am gonna use my Fenty Beauty full frontal. Oh wait, girl, I always do this. Let me spray my face before we do that. And then I have mascara everywhere. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. I'm gonna spray this a little bit. Y'all can put on <laughs> whatever y'all like, but I love to drench my face. Now I'm gonna go in with the full frontal mascara. So, oh, I do wanna use my Morphe Glamour Bronze and Leader. I'm gonna use my same best top brush just to bronze up a little bit. That's just how I like to do my makeup, you guys. Y'all can do it to your liking. I always tell you guys that do it to your liking. But if you want to take any kind of tips from me, this is how I like to do my makeup. I like to stamp everything before actually blending. It's just something I learned. Y'all don't be alarmed, but we are going to spray our face again. But before we do that, I do want to take, I think I'm just going to take that same shade and run underneath the eye. Going to use this Morphe M124. All right. So, <laughs> y'all, let me stop. Going to spray some more. Anyways, I'm going to move on to the Crayon Case and Glola Highlighter Powder. Dries down, I'm going to take my favorite do care brush amazon amazon storefront down below in the description box it's under my amazon storefront this is the dupe for the abh highlighter brush and i love this one i'm gonna take it i need to spray it some i'm gonna spray it with some of my rose water my rose water spray a and b lavish under facial under face and use the, the rose water spray gonna take a little bit you guys cannot grab too much of this don't want to do too much because this is a simple all over face look you want to place it where you want it smile a little bit and blend this morphe m506 I am gonna take it a little bit, place it right here, a little bit, place it right here. Bet y'all thought I was gonna leave it real dark and simple, huh? Place a little bit there. On that brow bone. All right, so now that we're switched over, let me figure out which lashes we're gonna wear. Whichever lash is gonna be, it's gonna be mine. I think I'm gonna be pretty lady. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put on this NYX lip liner in Espresso. One of my favorite lip liners. I don't wanna do too much because you guys, I'm wearing my lipstick. This is gonna be the first time I'm wearing my liquid lipstick on camera. But, oh. Y'all, I'm not wearing my lip gloss, my lip color today. I'm wearing graveyard today. It's supposed to match the look. I forgot. So I'm 
to purple. But this may be too vampy for you guys. But if it is, go with a nude lip and that'll be cute. Or even with something like this, you can add a little bit of your concealer to the middle. Yes. And that works too. Y'all, I do honestly want the new, um, what is it called? The new blush book thing crayon case came out with. That's something else I want to try. But I am going to do this Watch Me Blush palette. And I think I'm going to try to keep it fairly on the neutral side. I'm going to use my e.l.f. highlighter brush. I think I'm going to mix a little bit of tangerine with cobbler. A lot of cobbler so that it won't do too much. Give it just a little bit of color, but not too much. Tell me if you can see the difference. It's not too much. It's not too drastic. Should just lighten up the cheek a little bit. Go over a little bit with your what's left on that powder brush. Boop. Girl, it would be cute if I had a wig on, huh? Too bad I'm not going nowhere but to the grocery store and back. Okay, I can honestly say, you guys, I'm liking this look better than this look right here that I did last time. I told you I feel good. I need to go get my scissors and pop on these lashes and we should be done. Oh, you guys, if y'all watch my girl Colorful Camille here on YouTube... She has been wearing lashes and liner and stuff now, you guys. She has been doing a lot of reviews on her channel of different um, makeup palettes that's been coming out and stuff. Y'all need to go check her out because her reviews have been really good. And her makeup tutorials, y'all, she added lashes and liners to her routine. And she is looking more and more adorable. Oh, she's looking more and more adorable. Dream catcher, angel, and bad girl. All right, so that is the look, you guys. I don't mind the hair, but I told you I'm not going nowhere. Um, but that is it. How do you guys feel about this look compared to the last look? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this crayon case makeup tutorial slash review. And hopefully you guys hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. And hopefully you didn't forget that like button as well. Comment something below right now before the video ends. Hopefully you learned a new fall makeup tutorial look or a new way of doing your makeup. If you did, give me your rundown in the comment section below. I love you guys. Y'all keep shining and I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.